everyone it's girl pine and you're watching season two episode two everyone likes a clown supernatural review i think that's the title i may have gotten it wrong like a word wrong there and here because in season one like the titles were like one or two words and now in season two the titles are becoming a little bit more complicated if you're new here i'm doing like a recap and review of every single episode of see supernatural and we are on season two so I've been waiting for this one. I've actually rewatched this one multiple times. Obviously, I don't know the number, but I've been waiting for this one. Start out with kind of like how the last episode ended, where their dad has passed. And then it's kind of like, I think it's like a week later. I feel like it should have been more longer, um, but it was a week later and they're at Bobby's and Dean is trying to fix the car and, and Sam is you know, saying all these other things and everything. Their dad had a lot of phones and so they see this message on a phone from an Ellen and so they go to see what it is and they, we are introduced to three new characters, Ellen, Joe, and Ash. So in season one, they had like no money, no budget. That's why they were only characters. But in season two, they obviously have a little bit more money than season one. And so that's why they bring Bobby back. I think they want to have more characters, not characters that will be in every single episode like them, but characters that they can come to time to time. So hunters kind of make sense because maybe they see them on another hunt, maybe they're there to help them. So we were introduced to three new characters in this one. And obviously Joe is there and she is something of Dean's desire, but because of everything that happened with Dean, he, you know, he's not himself, he's not right. So he kind of doesn't fully pursue it. It's obviously, there's obvious connotations of it, but it's not explored at least not yet because of everything that happened and I think that makes sense obviously he was still like flirting in a way but it was an approach it didn't happen and for those who don't know they actually had I don't know if this was like their original attention but you know in the end they introduced Joe as like a love interest for Dean and so it was something that they were going to like have a few episodes ever so often I think she's in I don't know she's in maybe the sixth episode of season two as well no as I don't know we'll see when we get there but they were kind of like trying to introduce like a love just because as I said with how they write female characters in the past it's been awful so maybe they kind of recognized and they were like we need a love interest that's there that's like has multiple episodes too like has some dignity I don't know and so introducing someone who's a hunter kind of makes sense like she would be in their life she would understand and she can come and go but what kind of happened was that Supernatural fans were so anti-Joe that they like sent hate letters. They were saying, you know, don't make it happen. I'm not exactly sure why. I think they just really liked how the show was about the brothers and obviously like a love interest would change that. And so I'm always kind of curious about like if that didn't happen, like, and they actually did make Joe like a really real love interest, like how that would have happened and approach and obviously like those who don't know it's only a few seasons she's still in like the next few seasons and it's only episodes here and there but obviously I'm not exactly sure when the hate letters started like I don't know if after this episode after it premiered like the hate letters already began because people could realize the fans could realize but it was something that like they she was still around but like maybe they would have had more episodes with her but they didn't because of the hate messages so I'm always wondering like how that would have changed the show how that would have you know Dean would have been different if like it really happened but that was kind of the intention with having Joe and it didn't come to fruition. This episode the monster kind of was clowns but then it was something else like they appeared as clowns but now I'm forgetting the name of what it actually was so this is not a monster we haven't seen before and it was kind of also brought up that and also they were using some of Bobby's trucks because the car wasn't fixed. But it was brought up that Sam's afraid of clowns and so it's interesting because in season when you learn that Dean's afraid of flying, they, I think they even brought that up in this episode and then Sam's afraid of clowns and it's something like, I don't know necessarily like if Sam being afraid of clowns like added to it, like obviously, you know, Dean being afraid of flying really added to the episode when they were on a flight. I don't know if Sam being afraid of clowns really added too much to this where it was like needed like it made sense that one of them was afraid of flying it made sense that one of them was afraid of clowns so I don't know if it was necessarily needed but you know we have Dean's fear and so we need Sam fears and it's something where they you know if they like in season one ever so often they were adding 
new elements and like new backstory to the characters and so I feel like they want to start getting into that a little bit more so maybe that's why they did it and also I think it like was a little bit something like humorous and lighthearted, and so they kind of needed those elements in this episode when it was like their dad just died and you think like really the first half of, half of this episode was like everything they're dealing with and like meeting these characters so like the actual hunt was really small and it's kind of like there wasn't that many characters they could play with so it's kind of crazy that they didn't think it was a blind man at first especially when he said he was in the past circuit of the clowns or the circus whatever it's called also the scene where like at the end they're like fighting him like i feel like that thing whatever the monster exactly was like could have killed dean and they just kind of like like they obviously can't have dean dead but like the way it was just kind of going easy on dean i feel like they also abandoned the truck um and they're walking in that road and i always you know, have seen that like shot and scene and like edits and like it's something where it's like even though I've watched this episode multiple times I couldn't really remember that this is from that episode and so it's like really important when they're just like walking and like you really see like it's about them and their love and it's kind of actually a beautiful shot as well. It's also cool because they have like we see them like pretend to be like FBI or like certain things and so we also I think we haven't seen it yet too much them actually like take on jobs so this when they were like security for the circus which is like funny and the guy was like you guys are normal don't be in the circus but I also feel like the circus and everything it was like lighthearted and fun and like we still had those moments and it's needed when it's like they just had they just went through something and there are some like really hard wrenching moments in this episode and they can't have it be like all dark and heart all heart wrenching they need those like moments of light and the end the scene you know i'm i'm forgetting like certain things that sam and dean say in like their conversations but obviously like dean is the way he's handling it like sam's handling it different and so at the end you see dean like start smashing the car and like that's like a really moment when he just starts smashing the car and he just starts beating it up i think he also says at one point in the episode like another person that asked me is if i'm okay i'm gonna start throwing punches and like it's so it's just so whatever i think it was like a good episode overall for the transition up since their dad passed and i think the writers did a good job of having humor and like having these like moments because they can't just be fine and move on and be happy like their dad just died and so it's something where they're like trying to move on but it's kind of like how do we like show how the rest of the season's gonna go and so it is really about the brothers and they were able to show that but then they also are like we're gonna introduce a few more characters and so it's and also when episodes are fun like they're more interesting and they're easier to watch and even though you know this had some serial elements in the day it was is kind of episodic even though it was like the hunt was only half the episode but anyway it was a good episode overall so thank you guys for watching comment your thoughts below and then we'll do the third episode bye